Hello. Hey, Seth. Hey, Mary. It's your Mary. My Mary. Whoa. <laughs> What's your going on Mary here? Mary of your very own. So I was watching South of Nowhere, as I want yeah. to do, uh -huh. and I have to admit, I sympathize with my Kyla for saying a bunch of stupid crap on the internet <laughs> that she's then <laughs> held accountable for for the rest of her life. Yeah, because you do that for a living. I do it for a living, and... Not me. I don't, you know, I never say anything stupid. Yeah, it's true. Why <laughs> do you say plenty of stupid crap? <laughs> We're just stupid craft sayers. It's like what we are. And, well, we're paid to do it. It's a stupid crap cast. We don't say stupid crap about people, though. It's, it's true. We don't. I we hope. could start. Yeah. You can say stuff about me. I can just say it to your face like, really, Mary, I've been meaning to tell you. You, sm <laughs> <laughs> you smell like avocado, really, all the time. <laughs> Does avocado smell? I mean, even over the phone, I'm, it's just like... Degrassi. Uh-huh. <laughs> Curse of Degrassi and regular Degrassi. Which one do you want to talk about? Uh, let's let's talk about uh, regular Degrassi first. Holly J, making the moves. Making the to-do list. Yeah. <laughs> Dirtiest to-do list ever. Yeah, well, I don't know. I've, I've, but, I mean, that's just kind of like, when you're adding that stuff to your to-do list, there's something you're... <laughs> Someone does not have a clue about how the world works. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of like, the more I watch Holly J, the more I realize she's not just, um, I realized a little bit ago that she's really insecure, and now I'm realizing that she's actually like really socially awkward. Like, I mm -hmm. think she doesn't know how to be around people. Like, she clearly did not, she doesn't know how to be around dudes. Like, I've never seen her be adept at handling a male. And, yeah, and I don't think she wrote, you know, was writing uh, Lose Virginity on her to-do list because of... I I should just to her think that she thought it was just you know another thing to do. It's just like all right, well, I'll just get this taken care of, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, yeah. which that's the other thing is like, what is there to worry about? Like this whole idea that other people care whether or not you lose your virginity is kind of hilarious to me. Like that, I just don't remember us ever gossiping like badly about people who we suspected to be virgins, or you know. I yeah, I I I think you're right because I think people are always. Everybody is deep down inside afraid that they've done less than what someone else has, and that I know with guys that that's the case. Yeah, they're always like, you got to pretend like you're really experienced, whether or you are or not, because, or you just got to not talk about it at all, because otherwise someone might find out that you know maybe they're not. And uh, I feel like in general, people are so much more worried about what they've done than what anybody else has done. So it's like it, it boggles my mind. <laughs> it really does. Um. Liberty boggled my mind a little bit, too, this week. A little bit, yeah. Liberty, I think she did the right thing at the end there, but the just lack of self-respect that she has for herself is just amazing to me. I mean, it's she's like, okay, when she finally decided that the, those sorority girls were just looking at her for her rage, she's like, that's it, I'm not going to let this go on. But when they were, like, pimping her out to some frat boy, she was like, <laughs> okay, I'll go upstairs with him, why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> when they're, you know, when she was, like, going to go run naked across campus, you know, that's... That's totally within bounds. Plus, plus, how did that photographer end up? <laughs> he, was, he was able to be at the right place at the right time, but that one wasn't he. He's just like, guys just standing around thinking, man, my career as a photographer is going nowhere. And then, like, suddenly three <laughs> naked women three run naked by. Three naked girls run by. <laughs> well, but so wait, also in Liberty's defense, when she got into the bedroom with the dude, she was like, yeah, I'm not going to hook up with you. Which, you know. It, it's true. It's true. But still. But still, yeah. She was, she was selling herself out. There were just a couple times when I was kind of like, when is is now she now she's going to turn it around like when does the liberty kick in <laughs> i want to call paula brancotti <laughs> yes speaking of liberty let's call paula brancotti because <laughs> last time we talked to her she said that she read the insider and it was like the most exciting thing anyone had ever said to me i know it's so funny how like i i remember those people so much better <laughs> <laughs> gee you, i wonder why the people that flatter us <laughs> the people who you remember the most <laughs> But I just also remember her being fun and sweet and nice. Just like yeah. Jane. I like yeah. Jane. Yeah. I'm pro Jane and I vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's call Jane. All right. Hello? Hi, is this Paula? Yes. Hi, it's Mary and Seth from the end.com. Hi, you guys. How are you doing? Hi, Paula. Good. How are you? 
I'm great. I'm great. I'm just uh, hanging out at home and I uh, just watched the rerun of The O.C. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, it was kind of fun. Which yeah. Which episode was it? Okay. Um, uh, do, you know, do you know it kind of well? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Marissa, Misha Barton's character, uh-huh. sleeps with someone other than Ryan, and, you know, it's dramatic, obviously. And hijinks. It was good. Too. I was entertained. <laughs> are, are you a devotee of the OC? I definitely, definitely am. I have box sets, and uh, but somehow when you watch a rerun on TV, I'm just a little more excited to catch it on TV, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is about that. How are you guys doing over there? I haven't spoken to you for a long time. I know. We missed you. We were excited about talking to you today. <laughs> Good. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you on that rerun thing, because I have seasons of shows on DVD that I never will watch. But like you don't like, even pop a, in, right? Yeah, but if the marathon comes on of them, I'll just sit there and watch the whole thing. <laughs> I'm so psyched. I know what you mean. I know. So we were just watching Curse of Degrassi. I don't know how long ago it was that you filmed that. I, yeah, that was, a, that was so much fun to film. Wow, we had a really good time. Was it? Um, did you guys like it? Yeah, totally. It's funny because um, we actually saw like a weird like rough cut before all the special effects are in. Yeah, yeah. With the special effects, it looks it looks a lot cooler, I guess, with the uh, with uh, Charlotte's eyes blacked out and yeah, yeah. Uh, it's creepy. And yours too, at some point, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I got possessed as well. Um, and the blood stuff was was really interesting to film because it, it smelled really, really bad. So we spent the whole day um, not near other people. <laughs> we smelled horrible. <laughs> yeah. What was it? It was uh, it was apparently tempera paint, um, oh. and I guess it just yeah. When when there's buckets thrown on you, it smells particularly bad. <laughs> um, so it was it was fun to shoot though. We we kind of couldn't smell it after a while, and uh, yeah, we had a good time. It's fun. I'd like to I'd like to see if we could someday release the the cut without the special effects in to people because it's is it a lot funnier? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. You can like see, you see the stage hand tossing the bucket of blood on you guys. <laughs> That's right. That's funny. I remember we had to do it twice because you could see someone's hand. Oh my god! <laughs> really nice. Oh yeah. Wait, yeah. You no, have we to had do it twice. How do you do that? Like, do you you just have you have to switch your whole wardrobe? Like, I guess they have. Well, yeah, that's exactly. We only had uh, we only had I think one one dress. Uh, no, two dresses. Um, the and one of them was for the paint, but because on my coverage someone's hand went into the uh, into the shot, they had to just try and clean me up as much as possible and <laughs> do it again. And it was in my mouth and in my eyes. And my reaction's pretty genuine when I'm freaking out. Yeah. Oh man. Pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's really not much uh, compared to it was it was a good time watching Delmore like on the harness up oh, in the yeah, air. Totally. Getting to scream and do that scene with the the Nina, uh, the Nina, the Mia Jane scene. The um, where they're talking about Lucas. Yeah, and like Mia did it in Jane's bed. Kind of gross, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but funny to film. Lucas smelled like cheese. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the specials are always, and the minis too are just sort of like larger than life. So we have we have a good time with them. Yeah, you got to be a pirate too. Oh yeah, that's right. The pirate, yeah, that voice. Wow, I uh, watched it. Was kind of embarrassed. Um, <laughs> it was like Popeye the Sailor. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but we 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 also had a great time with that too. Um, yeah, it t- it looked really cool, and we shot it in half a day. So oh wow, it looked really really cool. Yeah, and Jake Epstein was back for that. Yeah. Um, and Michael Bell. So we all, you know, it's a little party. Accents. So wait, are you into mm-hmm. horror movies like in your in your real life? <laughs> Not really. I I've gone to the. I like watching them in the theater because I think it's it's fun because everyone's screaming and and just sort of reacting together. But I'm more into thrillers, you know, um, okay. suspense flicks, if you will. Um, I guess the last movie I saw in theaters that was horror was like Boogeyman, and that was uh I was in grade eight, so it was a while ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Out of the loop. I'm, what do you guys suggest? Any? any oh my god, I know nothing about any horror movies. I like. I can't. I. I have nightmares. I can't watch them in the theater. I can't watch them at home. Like I just. That's my scary high stress. I find. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I don't. I don't want to pay money to like be really stressed out for two hours. Absolutely. <laughs> that's what. That's exactly what. I'm right there with you, Mary. Right there with you. I'm okay with the movies. I, I, you know, the haunted house thing is big now. The people do that every year. Yes, that is. That to I've me never is, also I, not been there. No. 
I no, I refuse to go pay money to just to be scared out of my mind. That just, and to be I, chased. Like I've heard they get they get a little aggressive sometimes. They'll grab your legs. I've heard or like your arms. Whoever is working in these places, it's too much. <sighs> No, no, no contact for me, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm drawing the line there. Um, yeah. Wait, uh, do you know what you're going to be for Halloween this year? Uh, for ha- Okay, do you guys have this commercial, um, Kudu? It's a phone commercial. It's uh, it's all these girls in, like, 80s uh, gym wear, I guess, if okay. you will. Um, that's what a group of us are going as, um, but we're actually shooting Friday night, um, which is like this Halloween party that my best friend's having. Okay. Um, but I'm going to be on set doing our last episode of Degrassi actually. Oh, so no I won't way. be able to, yeah, but I think I'll just, you know, transfer that, that outfit over to the week <laughs> after, I guess. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> what are you guys being? Any, uh, yeah. do you guys dress up? Will I... you dress up? I would love to, but I never have a decent idea until it's, like, way too late, and then I just cobble something together, and it's always horrible. That's yeah. be a pirate, you know? Yeah, Be right. more outfits kind of thing. I don't have anything this year. I need to... I, I need to know. brainstorm? I was thinking Robin, actually, was another one. Robin of Batman and Robin, oh, but as a solo go. act, because I feel like he's <laughs> terribly underrated. <laughs> and Robin. <laughs> yes! <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> so do they do, is there like a Degrassi Halloween party if you're shooting on Halloween? Well, I don't know. We're not, uh, we're not actually, we'll be wrapped before Halloween night, actually. But um, uh, but Friday night, like night shoots in general tend to be a little kooky. Mm-hmm. Um, just everyone gets giggly and, and it gets really late. I enjoy them a lot. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll dress up as well. I, I went trick-or-treating once. Um, in between takes on this other show I was doing because I was filming on Halloween. <laughs> so we ran door to door. It's kind of pathetic. Oh my God. Just, like, I put on wings. <laughs> yeah, no one knew I went. <laughs> we just disappeared. It was fun, though. That's awesome. True story. Yeah. Yeah, because see, like, you know, you know, when you work, like, in an office, usually on how, well, depending on what kind of office you work in, like, everybody, people you guys dress up. dressed up and stuff like that. So I was like, I guess you can't really show up to work at Degrassi dressed up, because... No, but I've done that. I've done that. I have. I've come in with, like, you know, an ode to it, like, a, like wings or some ears, Aww. you know, that kind of thing. Aww. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. about the, the team spirit, the, the holiday spirit. <laughs> is that, uh, wait, is Halloween, like, your favorite holiday, or do you have a favorite holiday? Uh, yeah, my favorite my favorite is uh is not Halloween actually. I'm gonna say Christmas. Um, I'm all about the like more of the preparation. I love putting up the stockings, the tree. I love shopping for gifts for friends. I'm really big on finding uh original uh gifts that are kind of based on like an inside joke or something. Aww. So I take it very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> are you one of those like I feel like these days the Christmas season pretty much starts on the day after Halloween now like <laughs> yes that's how I'm more like yeah let's get Halloween over and enjoy it <laughs> enjoy the candy and then let's get going <laughs> so that is me actually 100% awesome <laughs> yeah so we got to talk about um Jane the football player which I yeah love let's do it this storyline so much <laughs> Jane is totally oh, good. A hero. like I could never there's just no way is this kind of in character for you is that normal for you to be playing football <laughs> it's absolutely absolutely not um, <laughs> when I read it initially or when when I was even told that this is sort of uh, an idea of theirs I was, sort of, I was a little alarmed um, and concerned because I'm not very athletic um, but when I read the script as soon as we read the script uh, I really really like took to it right away and, and sort of realized like she's uh, the female character that you know could overcome something like this in the way that she did, you know, and not sort of let it or just be so determined that she'd want to do this, uh, despite any obstacle, because obviously it gets pretty dangerous. Yeah. Um, and it was really great. We we did some training, uh, did training with an actual football team that you see on screen, um, mm. playing Bardell and the other Degrassi members. Um, so we got to train with them, and uh, thank, thank goodness we did. Um, so I, I learned all the plays, and it was a really good time. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it became less about it being football and more about um, just being really passionate about something. Like, I think other people can relate no matter what it is, but being passionate about something and, and not wanting anyone to tell you that you can't do it, you know, because of your gender or something like that. Yeah, totally. Just sort of standing up right. for Standing up for yourself. Yeah, standing up. Yeah, oh, yeah, and, and it is a little girl power also yeah. in there. <laughs> was that actually you getting tackled, or was that a stunt double? 
Um, I'm going to be honest, a stunt double, but how, <laughs> we had a stunt double, and so the understanding was that she would do the, the hits, right? Um, so they'd bring me in to do, like, the uh, the reactions. Uh-huh. But uh, the the guy who was hitting, who was, was a really cool guy, I, he may have um, misunderstood a little bit. So we there were two times that he actually tackled me at the same oh, speed and pace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really, there was, like, a sickening uh, crack. Like, <laughs> my helmet oh. hit the ground. It was bad. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they didn't use it, unfortunately. Oh, but I'll tell you, I went through it. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's all pain. Like, it it really was worth it. On. But but the fight sequence, which I'm sure you guys figured, was was definitely us um, with with the guys. And it, aside from the kick, I definitely felt uh, we got we got a little. I got a cut. You know, we kind of were bruised up the next day. Oh, but uh, yeah. doing that physical stuff is fun too. Did those guys? I mean, like. Did they feel bad about having to, like, kick you in the stomach? <laughs> of course. Oh, they felt horrible. I mean, especially for Marginato, who plays uh, Derek, yeah. who's, who's a really cool guy. He had to kind of get to a, a pretty dark place <laughs> to feel okay with just attacking this girl. Oh, um, so so the minute we'd yell, they'd yell cut, all three of them would, like, run back and try and pick me up like are you okay are you oh okay my God, that's so gingerly weird. help me and then and then we'd walk back out the doors to do it again and suddenly we were just all serious no talking it was <laughs> it was intense um and then as soon as we wrapped i was like guys let's just go out and eat and be friends we all went out <laughs> <laughs> Milkshakes yeah, fries. it was nice. It's challenging to film that kind of stuff, um, but also really rewarding afterwards. So yeah, wait, is um because I was like saying before how like I was kind of really scared of Bruce the Moose, but like looking at him, I'm like I bet he's a total teddy bear in real life. <laughs> he's like, to- he's the total, player. total opposite. Natty's such a sweetheart. Uh, really nice guy. You know, he'll sing along with me and humor me when I <laughs> when I have tunes in my head. Very sweet. <laughs> And totally not a Bruce Moose at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really great group of guys. There was a, I was the only girl on set that whole time, pretty much. And uh, I had a really good time with them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're lucky to have such a good cast. Oh, totally. Um, mm-hmm. Wait, speaking of your good cast, um, like, tell us stuff about Shane Kemple. I mean, we've talked to him before, but... Um, yeah, well, first of all, I just want to point out, he was nominated for a Gemini Award for his work on um, the, the cancer episodes last year, Woo-hoo! and that was last night, and Lauren Collins was also nominated, um, oh and God. and Alex Johnson of Instant Star actually won um, against him, so it was a whole, yeah, wow. yeah, they were all there last night, it was very exciting, so I just want to shout out to them, like- um, and Degrassi won for Best Show. Oh my <laughs> God, congratulations, you guys. Whoa. Yeah, fantastic. congrats to wow. the show. So that's just a little news bulletin I wanted to share. Yeah. Um, yeah great. But yeah, he's very, you know, he was very deserving, of course, for that uh, that very <laughs> intense material. He's great. We have a really good time on set. We're always uh, having a laugh. Um, we sing, I, I like make him sing Rent songs with me. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. He likes it. He might pretend he doesn't, but he definitely does. And uh, and I think Dean and Spinner are just, they are, they're a good, a good couple. I mean, they definitely, this season's an interesting one for them. They're going to go through a bit of a roller coaster ride, um, yeah. mainly because they're both, they're both growing up, you know, and making decisions about their future. So that, uh, that causes a bit of conflict and Spinner tends to make some, some stupid decisions sometimes. <laughs> maybe thinks before, uh, maybe acts where he thinks. Um, what's nice is like for Spinner, he sort of, I think I heard uh, Shane saying this in an interview, but just like that was the first, she's the first girlfriend that he kind of consciously chose to be with, you know, and wasn't uh, like Darcy, he, he was leaning on, you know, a lot. And yeah. I think he, the two of them have a, uh, just they both genuinely really like each other and, and they, uh, she was there for him throughout a tough time and and in turn this season he's you know going to continue to be there for her for different different scenarios that'll pop up yeah i feel like jane is right for him because she she can stand up to him and like whip him into shape but like with compassion instead of with like that's a great way of putting it it, yeah i think so too i think because she's it's an honesty thing i think for them at this point like a communication thing because that's a, a a very key part of any relationship with family or friends in any way um, just to be able to communicate how you're feeling. So I think the fact that she's willing to say, you know, you screwed up and that's not cool, yeah, um, totally. kind of forces him to to acknowledge that. That's an art. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a tough thing. It's a tough thing to do. I think I think they're a good little couple for sure. Totally. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for talking to us today. No problem. It was great You're talking to you guys people. again. Always a pleasure. Hopefully I'll meet you guys someday. I know, Maybe. seriously. Yeah, know. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys have to, there has to be some excuse for you to be in New York or for us to be in Toronto. But anyway. <laughs> I know. Come to Toronto. Our rap party's coming up. Just Aww. saying. Oh, yeah. uh, well, I'm considering that an invitation. <laughs> yeah, that is an invitation. <laughs> I'm saying it on the podcast. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Well, you guys enjoy the rest of the season too, and Halloween. Thank also. you so much. You too. And tell everybody okay. congratulations on the Gemini's. That's amazing. I will tell them for sure. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're totally going to that rap party. It would not be crashing it because Paula said we could come. We're invited. We're, we're like, invited. invited. The, the, everybody on the internet heard it. We're invited to the Degrassi rap party. It's true. We can make a CD of this and we'll bring it with us. You know, when when some like burly bouncer gives us guff, we'll be like, here! And we'll like slam the CD in his hands, be like, listen to that! We'll have it on a little mini boombox and just start yeah. playing. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the way to, to endear ourselves to the people at, at to make friends and influence people. All right. Well, I'll see you at the wrap party then, Seth. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll see you. Are we carpooling? <laughs> yeah. Carpooling to Toronto. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll work that out. Awesome. See you, Mary. All right. Bye. Bye.